This video is to uh, show everybody step by step how to uh, get rid of the blue screen of death, uh, also known as the brick. And I'm going to show you how to reformat your hard drive so you can have your PlayStation 3 back to normal the way it was, the same way you bought it brand new. So let's go ahead. So, what you want to do now here is uh, take off this faceplate here. I want to take a flat, take off that faceplate. You see that there's a screw here, you want to take that off to get to the hard drive to pull it out. Use a star here. lever here take out your uh, hard drive There's your hard drive right there now after you take out the hard drive you want to uh, attach it to your desktop or your laptop my desktop has uh, a SATA cable and uh, the power as well so I didn't have any extras so what I did was uh, I basically removed the SATA and power cable from my CD-ROM DVD drive so anyone out there that doesn't have any extras you can do this so I removed the face panel here on the side panel on my desktop as you can see I have my power cord and the SATA cable into my uh, CD DVD drive so you can remove that there's your power here is your SATA if you don't have any extras. And what we're going to do now is we're going to attach these two cables to the hard drive. Now I've attached the two cords here. I got the power and the SATA to the hard drive. And now we're going to go onto uh, my desktop and we're going to reformat the hard drive either to XFAT or so to format XFAT. your uh, hard drive fresh you're going to want to go into your start menu right click on your computer setting here click on manage this will bring you up into another screen which is uh, Right here, as you can see, what you want to do is you want to go into your uh, disk management, and this will show all your hard drives located on your computer. So, you want to click on that, that'll take uh, a little bit to search for the drives, so be patient. Now that you can see your drives, you want to find the drive, that's your PS3. Mine's not located here, you might have that same problem. So what we can do if it doesn't show up, because it isn't probably a FAT32 or XFAT, which isn't recognizable since I uh, plugged it into my DVD drive, you want to go to your uh, computer again. I'm going to go back to manage and now we're going to go to uh, device manager so we'll click on device manager give it a second or two let it load 
you want to go to actions once that stuff is like loaded here and scan for uh, hardware changes and this will pick up and recognize your uh, hard drive So we'll scroll down here after we've scanned it in our uh, device manager. And now it's actually seen in our disk management down here. It says unknown. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to initialize disk. So you click on it and initialize disk. We're going to want to keep this as uh, MBR, which is Master Boot Record. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to right click on this box here and we're going to go to New Simple Volume. So now we're going to just refresh everything, format it all so it's like it's brand new again. Erase everything off the drive. You're going to click Next. To its full capacity, which is 305 uh, gigabytes. You want to click next, sign the following letter, it doesn't matter. Next. Now, do you want to format it in NTFS? Or do you want to do it into XFAT? We're going to want to do it into XFAT, more FAT32 if you have other software programs that uh, format it for you. So let's go to XFAT. I'm going to click next, finish, and now it is formatted. Now it's recognized and readable. New volume. So we are complete here. We have just reformatted the hard drive to the CD and DVD drive. And uh, it's ready to be put back into the PS3 and uh, upload for the uh, firmware. See you there. So to get that firmware, you're gonna to want to go to uh, Sony for the legit one. You're gonna to want to go to their website. So we're gonna go into uh, our browser. What I like to do is just go into Yahoo, Google, Bing, and you want to enter the latest firmware. So you can go uh, 4.50 firmware. PS3, and of course you get your list here, as you can see I've already searched for these, you want to go directly to uh, PlayStation, and I'm going to click on that, Now we're at the uh, official PlayStation.com. You want to download the firmware here. Right now it's 4.50. You want to click download now. Then you're gonna get this. You're gonna to want to go down to here and click download now. And this will give you the uh, PUP file or PUP file. So it'll pop up like this, leave it as is, and we are ready to uh, download this. I've already downloaded it, so I have it in my downloads folder. And we're going to transfer this to a uh, USB uh, thumb drive. So once you've downloaded this, we're going to you put this on uh, your thumb drive. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do now is go into your USB thumb drive. Mine is here. Everyone else is different. You want to find that thumb drive. You want to create two folders inside that. One that says PS3. And another one that says update. And inside 
the update, you want to drop, drag, copy, or cut. And you want to put that uh, PS3 update pub file inside the update folder that's inside the PS3 folder that's on your thumb drive. And what that, once that's up on there, you want to go uh, straight to your PS3. You want to uh, get it into recovery mode. Or it should do it automatically once uh, the drive is formatted. So let's go ahead and go there now. So we'll grab our thumb drive. We'll put it. Slot there. You don't want to turn on your PlayStation. But this there was just a movie from before. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get this screen here. Connect the controller to USB cable. Make sure you're controllers plugged in to one of the slots. You're gonna press the middle button here. You're gonna get this screen now. The system software cannot be run correctly. Press the button try to restart the system. Or what you want to do now is depending on your firmware which it's asking for you want to download that from Sony. Mine right now is at 4.50 so you're gonna want to press both the uh, select and start buttons at the same time. What it's going to do is going to check and look for that on the uh, thumb drive. So you can see it's working here. And this is going to take a while to find, to uh, upload, and then to uh, install. So uh, be patient here. System partition of the system storage will be formatted. During the format operation, all data of the system storage may be deleted. To format, press and hold start and select buttons at the same time for at least five seconds. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to take the start and select button or the select and start button at the same time, hold them down for five seconds. Keep holding until the next screen comes up. You can release. Now it's checking again. You can look for that. Uh, pop file there on your thumb drive. And you can see it's starting to work, it's thinking. Again this is gonna take some time so be patient. Now we got our next screen. It's gonna pop up. So now we got system update. So we've already uh, done step one, okay? So we're gonna press the uh, middle center button here. Now it's gonna check for that update. Again, it's going to take some time. Be patient. Now we want to skim through all this. These are just user agreements. You want to go right. You want to accept. You do. So 
so accept it again you want to go right this is just telling you about the firmware and the features and now we're going to press enter at the end of that and what it's doing now is it's installing that firmware fresh brand new so your blue screen red screen your brick is now going to be gone you start fresh just like you bought the uh, PlayStation when you first did so and let this finish here let it install again it's going to take some time killing me I'm just going to fast forward to this now, so from 22 it's going to be a 90. So now it's restarted and you're back to square one. And you, uh, everybody knows how to start this from here. Press the center button, start up all your settings. I got HDMI so it's going to check for it. Obviously I want to keep those settings opposed to AVI. it it's now 10-9 2013 and I'll put it's 11 p.m. it's gonna ask you to connect to the internet if you want I'm gonna press cancel that's it everybody you've now formatted your old brick blue screen hard drive back to fresh brand new and that's it hope everybody watched please like subscribe check out my music as well and uh, if you have any questions